Good morning street hunters and uh, welcome to another street hunt. Today I'm in Cambridge with my friend and uh, street photographer John Hughes. Hey John. Hey, how you doing? So where are we exactly at the moment? Uh, we're on Parker's Peace, uh, which is kind of the heart and soul of Cambridge. Actually if it gets warmer today we'll have more people out here picnicking and stuff like that. But we're stood outside uh, the University Arms Hotel, which they're renovating at the minute hoping and praying for someone with uh, stripes yeah we've seen we've spotted this wall right here and we're waiting for someone to walk by wearing black and white stripes so maybe we can make something interesting out of that in the meantime we've uh, started talking about the importance of waiting in street the, photography in street photography yeah. for the moment right that's it for that decisive moment actually that looks really i know cool. i just <laughs> saw we just missed someone wearing stripes on a bicycle yeah Never really mind. cool stripes as well yeah damn so, we were talking about the importance of waiting, right? So, uh, are you a photographer that uh, waits for the moment? Uh, do you set up your scene, I mean, in your mind? Do you just run around the streets snapping away impulsively? What's your style? Well, a few years ago, it would have been running around the streets, snapping anything and anyone. Now, it kind of slowed down, mm -hmm. and it's more about sort of looking for a scene, waiting for it to happen, knowing what I'm looking for. So, um, example, standing here, waiting. I've got a shot here uh, once before already with a bike, biker, yeah. a panning shop. Man, I sat here for about half an hour waiting for that shot, but I got it in the end. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, yesterday when we was walking around Cambridge, slow walks, okay. noticing, trying to notice, and yeah. So you're more of a strategic shooter, right? I am now. You are now, yeah. I remember when we first shot together, it was two years ago in London. It was. You were insane. You were on fire. You would, I, I was trying to catch up with you. You're just running across well, the, the street. The funny thing London. was, I do, I do remember on that day as well that um, most of the guys put their cameras away towards the end of the day and were actually watching me and you. <laughs> you with the with the X Pro One and the flash gun, yeah, um, and me literally just charging into people's faces with a huge DSLR. I see you've changed gear. You've gone to something smaller. Well, I changed the Fuji uh, literally a year ago tomorrow. Okay, and yeah, fell in love with the Fuji system. Love. By the way, uh, dear viewers, we are not in any way being sponsored by Fuji. I have to tell you that it's just. <laughs> Uh, coincidence that uh, yeah. we've both we're both using uh, Fuji cameras. The Fuji uh, yeah. for me the Fuji system is the out camera the out camera JPEGs. I did get into that whole phase where I had you know the backpack, the filters, the multiple lenses. It's all gone. I've gone back to where I originally started, which is one camera, one, one lens. lens. Yeah. And that's all I need. Yeah. I don't need anything We've more. We've got a great post about one camera, one camera, one lens on our website at streethunters.net. I'll make sure to add the link in the description below so you can check it out. It's a very uh, nice way of uh, approaching photography, that philosophy, one camera, I think one anybody lens. that's starting out in photography, it doesn't matter yeah. what you're doing, landscape, street photography, it has no, you know, it doesn't matter what style of photography you're doing, start with one camera, one lens, and make sure the lens that you're shooting with is a prime lens. Okay, so let's uh, start shooting, John, and see what we get. All cool. right? Yeah. Thanks. Cool. Yeah, I think I got my photo at last. Let's go. Oh, look at that car. That's cool. So, uh, John, we're walking into the centre of Cambridge now? Yeah, we're just outside the uh, Grand Arcade shopping centre. Uh-huh. Uh, great place for consumerism. For any of you that want to consume, there it is. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, we're going to be heading down here. We're a couple of minutes away from Cambridge Market. Uh-huh. I just had to take a photo, you know. Yes, I noticed. Yeah. The light is... I know, work with the light. That's what we're supposed to be doing. Yeah. Right? 
Oh, uh, I think I've got a good one here. You can get that when you fly. <laughs> Thank you both. Do you, want to say, do you want to take a nice photograph? Yes. Just down the road, there's a bank called Lloyd's. Yeah. Inside like a cathedral. Everywhere is tiled. Oh, oh, thank wow. you. It's, it's, it's fantastic. Thank you, know, you very much, sir. You know, I've never been, I've never, uh, I come to Cambridge all the time and I've this, never this been in Christ, there. That's Christ College, sir. Eh? Okay. That's Christ College. That is beautiful inside there. And that was Emmanuel. Yes. I went there, the one round the back, use. So, you know, but yeah. Anyway, you have a good day. You look after yourself. Bye bye. Thank you. <laughs> that was good. He would be your saviour today if you would but repent and believe Why in God. Why do I need saving? Because you're a sinner. What? All the sin that comes short of the glory of God. There's none righteous there, no, not one. So there you go, friends, you know? It's the gospel, you see, it's the good news. And the foundation, here's the foundation of the gospel, friends, you see? God is your creator, you see? And by dint of the fact that he's your creator, that's the basis of your accountability to God. You know? You might you might you might walk away saying, well I don't I've got my own belief. Is it frappe or something? No, 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 no. It's a lot busier today. It's much nicer today than it was yesterday, yes. It's got a vibe, it's inspiring. Yesterday it was dull. Wait. What? What do you say? Probably twat. Something else. So John, are you feeling the vibe today? Huh? Yeah? Yeah, John is. John is. John likes taking photos, uh, nice blurry photos using a wide aperture through windows and he captures really cool moments. So there I am as well. <laughs> Get a good one? I don't know. Let's go manual because the uh, reflection in the window was the camera's the camera's really annoying, man. It, if I want to photograph the reflection, it, photogra it focuses on what's inside. Yeah. When I want to photograph what's inside, it focuses on the reflection. Well, it's, it's, like the camera it's knows. a dumb machine, you know. <laughs> but I'm sure it knows. It's like, I know what he wants, I'm going to do the opposite. Yeah. But what I, what I love about this is it's really quick. You just flick, manual, get the shot. Exactly. So, yeah, I'm thinking of uh, pulling out my uh, flash. I was going to say, I thought he was going to be pulling out something else then. Well, in that case, you're on your own, sir, and I'm going home. Oh, don't do that, mate, please. <laughs> Can't see your face. Can't see your face. It's just, just the milk. Just the milk. Thank yeah. you very much. If I see you in that cafe in the corner, I was... <laughs> <laughs> Run on it. See you in a bit. See you later, buddy. Bye-bye. Oh, there's Indy's hat. Actual Indiana Jones's hat. Yeah. This place has uh, like original uh, movie uh, props. Yeah, Kingsman's umbrella. I don't know if that's it. That must be it. Cool. And that's Indiana, one of the hats Indiana yeah, Jones wore. That. That's so cool. John in action. Get a good one, John? Yep. Good. Okay. You're going to be sharing your photos l later, so we can uh, share them in a link yeah. below, right? Okay. Yes, I think I've got quite a good one there, actually. Excellent. Excellent. So what is all this? Colleges. Colleges, this right. This is the universities, King's College. Oh, actually, King's College is a little bit further down, I think. Oh my God, you're really going to put me on the spot with this. Well, never mind. These the are colleges. colleges. The colleges and universities. Okay. I can't remember the names of which one's which. Okay, now, okay, that's St. John's College. <laughs> <laughs> I'll cheat. So if we go this way, where are we going to go? Uh, City Centre. We're heading City towards Centre. Uh, King's okay. Parade. Which is where King's College is. And we're heading towards uh, the market. This is a little craft market, depending on what time, what day of the week it is, is how big or small it is. Yeah. If you ever want a belt made, nice leather one, handmade. Here, yeah. okay. I'll remember we're that. We're not sponsored by them. Mm -hmm. 
Lovely English flags. So, John, let's talk about your style a bit. We haven't talked about it yet. Do I have one? I think you do, yeah. I've, uh, we had a discussion yesterday and I told you that I think your photos have a romantic touch to them. Okay. You, you know, they're very dreamy, nice very, idea. very, you know... Surreal. Surreal, but in a way that relaxes the viewer. It, they're okay. very calming, you know, romantic. Okay. So I'd like you to tell us where does this come from? Is it something deliberate? Is it something oh, it's spontaneous? Very it's very deliberate. Okay. Um, this is where it's changed from what we were talking about earlier on, where you said about, uh, you were saying about uh, how the last time we shot, it was like really, really fast. So I'd see this couple here and I'd run over and bang, take the shot and just keep going. Now, when I come to Cambridge or London, I'm sort of hunting. I guess for for shots through so like a window like this mm -hmm. a silhouette be it someone with an open book uh, then I'm looking for depending on how the light is when the light's terrible day but you sometimes like here you might get someone sort of coming down the steps here mm -hmm. and then you'll get the reflection of this building and this building in that window okay and it just makes for a really really interesting um, photo and they got people with eyes when they're sitting having a coffee or they're reading a book, their eyes are like wide open or, and they just don't notice you. And I kind of like that. I just like that. You like capturing serene moments where yeah. people, when people are peaceful at their just that most, most relaxing yeah, moment, most, right? In a world where everything is really, really fast paced and, you know, the atrocities and everything else that are happening in the world, the way we seem to be treating each other, you come on the street and you see those tender moments, those moments where people are relaxing. You know, um, a photograph that I took in London uh, was a gentleman with his girlfriend and the hustle and bustle of Leicester Square, and there he was taking that one moment to clean something out of her eye. Yeah. And there, there was a beautiful look. And yeah. Yeah, I'm you're a romantic to, man. I'm drawn to that. <laughs> yeah, it's the kindness. It's, it's that sort of thing of. By. by by taking these photographs you can show the world that we're not we don't all hate each other yeah exactly and i love showing that's that. a nice uh, nice concept nice way of looking at things so we're in uh, st edmunds i think it is passageway mm -hmm. or st edwards uh and we're coming up to the haunted bookshop that one yes and there's indigo cafe there which is a great coffee house mm -hmm. um so this is this forest. bookshop actually haunted yeah that's so they say oh yeah okay don't be a misbeliever. <laughs> Sorry, don't believe in ghosts. This is one of my uh, absolute favourite places to shoot in Cambridge. I love it. I'm always here. Okay. Uh, Why, John? Man, it's like the, the trees. Mm -hmm. the, when you get a really good bright day, beautiful sunlight beaming through, and I love this bookshop. I'm in, antiquarian them. books. I, I adore G. this David. bookshop. Okay. Uh, you get people here looking through the old maps, the old books. Um, you can usually get the owners sitting through there, so you get some really great photos. Look at those uh, nice green and blue boxes. Yeah, there. and then <laughs> just here in this, just here in this window, and you get people sort of reading books, looking for books. But not only that, I don't know whether or not we can see it today, but all of this scrubbery, and then that on that window. <gasps> yeah, love it. <laughs> It's awesome. You're a hopeless romantic, John. Let's go shooting. So beautiful. <laughs> You're beautiful, aren't you? Thank you. I think we should buy you a hat. Me? A hat? No, thank you. Come on, let's try this on. No. Get over here now. Okay, wait. Okay, we can spin it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let me take a photo. Come on. This is disgusting. I can feel my ears just flipping out now that I'm wearing a hat. Oh, yeah, no, man. Yeah, that's coming off. No, dude, you got to buy that. You look cool. I'm not going to buy a hat. Dude, come here. I'm sorry, man. You look awesome. 
So, John, now we're in the market, the central market. What's it called? The market, Cambridge market. market. Cambridge market, okay. Yeah, it doesn't actually have a, another name, as far as I'm aware, anyway. All right. Uh, great for food. There's a really cool burger place over here. Ah, I like the photo I just got, but there's something growing out of the old lady's head. Never oh, mind. Cool. <laughs> Excellent. We've added features to it. Here it is. This. Talos, the legendary man, blah, blah, blah. He was the first robot or something. I'm wondering whether or not He was a guardian of Crete. Yeah, but I'm wondering whether or not that's because we've got those kind of schools here in Cambridge. Yeah, I was surprised to see that there. Do you know? Virtually one in two businesses in Crete are called Talos Camping or Talos Hotel or Talos Restaurant well, or something. I've kind of walked past that a hundred times and never noticed what it was. We've strapped our flash on and we're going to do a flash well, shot. Or you have. Or I have, yes. Thank you. <laughs> Didn't get slapped. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you look, you look great, you look really relaxed there. Yeah, yeah. You're yeah. going to say that I'll just come back the other way. Ah. This is the one I want. Okay. <laughs> have a Thank nice you. day. Thank you, have a good day. Thank you. She was sweet. Yeah. So we've just had our lunch break. A nice, long, healthy lunch break. Healthy? Didn't we have a beer? Beer is healthy as long Beer's as you have one healthy. one pint. We only had one pint. Dude, Didn't you have get, anything else. You can get away with that in the 1800s because it was better for you than the water. <laughs> not today. Anyway, no, so, sure about that. <laughs> so uh, now that the meal is over, it's time for us to go and do some more shooting. And we've got our flash. Well, I've got my flash on. John's got his trusty 56 on his XT2, and uh, that's it. We're off. So, John, what are your influences in your street photography? Cool. Um, uh, yeah. Biggest one, Bruce Davidson, by far. Mm -hmm. uh, I was a kid doing photography in school. Uh, my photography teacher, Mr. Littlewood, never forget him. And he gave me uh, a copy of Bruce Davidson Subway to cool. read. Cool, cool. And, man, I couldn't believe I could do that for a living. So it was kind of like, you know, looking through those photos, and I'm really, really influenced by uh, New York street photographers. Uh, Martha Cooper, uh, Mary Elaine uh, Mark, uh, Bruce Gilden, Bruce Davidson, Boogie. Yeah. You know, those kind of street photographers. I'm sort of 70s and 80s style Careful. of shooting. And yeah, man, I just love New York in the 70s and 80s. So that's what awesome. influences me. Awesome, awesome. So uh, where are we going now, John? Where are we going uh, now? We're going to head down to the river. So we're going behind the colleges. Yeah. There's a college, and don't ask me to re remember the name because I can't. But you can actually get in the grounds and sit by the river, and there's some beautiful concrete bridges. Okay, you cool. To watch the punts going by. Okay, let's go and have a look. Uh, yeah, it's kind of really cool. Yeah, I haven't been this side of Cambridge. No. We kind of have because we went with Digby yesterday down the other end. So I got him as he was wiping his face. Oh, well, that gentleman back yeah. there. Yeah. Here's a funny thing. Have you, have you noticed this? What? We both shoot with Fuji. Yeah. Now, when I shot with Nikon, Nikon, however you want to say it, no other Nikon shooter would stop me and say, oh, bro, you shoot Nikon, right? Or Kalen or any other mate, but have you found that when you shoot Fuji? I have found it, you, yes. We, you know, I tell you, Fuji's got a really great community and we just stop each other. I've met so many great photographers. Again, we'll remind our viewers that we are not in any way affiliated with no. Fuji Film. Yeah. But thanks to Fuji and uh, you know, and the name on the camera, 
Yeah. I bumped into one of my um, one of my best friends, Christian Cross, who is an amazing street photographer. Cool. And the only reason why we even stopped is because I noticed him shooting. Fuji. The X100. Okay. Uh, 100F, I think it was. This is really beautiful here. Yeah, you can sit down here now. Just relax. Oh, okay. Having wine. Hello. Oh, hi. <laughs> Thank you. Billingham as well. <laughs> you have to have the Billingham. Let's take a seat and relax. Yeah, it's lush, man. Isn't it beautiful? It is. Lovely. We're signing off. Be back soon. The sun has finally come out. It has indeed. Cambridge Market comes alive when it does that. It's like snails coming out after the rain. Yeah. <laughs> Even though I'm using a flash, the addition of the sunlight makes so much difference. Makes everything so much more interesting, I think. How's it going, John? Cool. Cool. Yeah, the uh, lady had a uh, look at her walking stick. It's absolutely like guitar, gorgeous. Sir, thank you. Yeah. A walking stone is so colourful and I've got it against the black background with a hand holding it. So oh wow. What a lovely dress. <laughs> lovely dress, thank you. <laughs> Homemade by us in Cambridge. John? Yes sir. I think we're running out of battery juice, so uh, is there something you'd like to tell our viewers? Stay sharp, keep shooting. Awesome man, awesome. It's been a pleasure having you on the show man. Thank you very much. Anytime dude. And thanks for the hospitality. Oh yeah, no worries and I hope you enjoyed Cambridge. Yeah, I loved it. Yeah? Yeah? Sure? Yeah? Yeah. Cheers. I'm glad.